Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I got a request recently to take you through the process, or at least my process, of uh, building a pedal. Now, there's all kinds of other videos on YouTube, you know, describing how to build a pedal, and they're all great. And, uh, but, you know, this person asked what I do specifically, so. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be any different or any more informative, but uh, I'll give it a shot. So this pr will probably be broken up into a few parts, um, just because I usually don't have enough time to do a pedal like uh, from start to finish in one sitting kind of thing. So, so I thought I'd break it up, and for this video, I think I'll start with the resources that you need. Um, in order to get the parts, you know, find schematics or layouts or whatever it is you want to do. So, um, if you're just starting out in this, it would the the most beneficial thing I can think I think that you can do is learn how to solder or solder for those of you in the UK or for most of the rest of the world. In Canada, it's pronounced solder much like the United States. So anyway, tangent. Um, so yeah, learn how to solder because you're gonna be doing a lot of it when you make a pedal. <laughs> and uh, you have to be, you know, you have to be quick because there's certain parts that you can fry if you take too long. So you have to, you know, I mean, it's not that hard to do, but sometimes it can be hard to do quickly. So that's the, the one thing I can think of that you should learn how to do before you get into this is learn how to solder. Um, apart from that, uh, what you can do is decide what kind of approach you want to take. And for me personally, that's I like using Vero board, which uh, this is a piece of Vero board or strip board. Some people call it strip board. And you can see that all the copper pads on the bottom are arranged in rows. So everything, like if you solder something at this end and something at the other end, they'll be connected along that row. And I find that uh, a lot simpler to do than using perf board, which looks like this, which is, as you can see, just single copper pads so if you need things to connect along rows or columns, you have to um, join them together with a piece of uh, lead or something like that. So using Vero board can simplify things and that's what I like to use. So the other thing you can do is use a printed circuit board, which are awesome. And if you're just starting out, that's probably the route I would recommend that you take. Um, there are a lot of websites that you can just buy a printed circuit board for a lot of different effects or effect clones or original effects. Whatever interests you, you pretty much find somebody that has made a PCB for it. And you can just buy the PCB and then buy your parts separately and build it all yourself. And that can be really good for a beginner because it saves you a lot of guesswork. So um, uh, some sites that I can recommend for that are uh, Mad Bean or Tone Pad. And there are independent sites such as I think uh, Parasite Studio or um, uh, I can't think of some of the other ones, but I'll, I'll put all these links in the description for you. Uh, those sites are great for buying PCBs. I have bought from Madbean before, and their PCBs are great, and they have a whole range of different effects that you can choose from. So you can do that. Or, as well, there's sites like Build Your Own Clone, which offer kits. So you don't even have to source your own parts. You just buy the whole kit together. Everything's there. And again, it saves you guesswork. So, um, yeah, those can be good for if you're really 
beginning in it, you don't know how to read schematics, and, and you don't really want to troubleshoot if you mess something up, those are probably the best routes to take. So, like I said, I like to use Vero Board, and there are a bunch of different sites that you can go to for Vero Board layouts. My favorite one is called um, Tag Board Effects, which I've linked to many times before because a lot of my clones are from that site. Um, and again, you can go to places like um, free, uh, I think it's freestompboxes.org. It's a forum. They offer um, layouts. I think some of them, some people there offer um, a printed circuit board. Like if you want to etch your own printed circuit boards, they offer those kind of layouts. Or they offer schematics. If you're, if you can read schematics, they they do that as well. All kinds of information on there. It's a great place to go. So yeah, um, like I said, my favorite place to go is. Um, Tagboard effects. They have hundreds of layouts, and if you join the forum on that site, there are more layouts that didn't quite make it to the site either, because they're still experimental, or you know maybe they're just not clean enough or whatever. But there are tons and tons and tons of pedal clones and uh, original ideas on that site. I can't recommend it enough. So, um, yeah, and other than that, the only thing you need is your parts. And I'm not going to get into tools because y you don't really need very many tools to do this. I mean, all you really need is a soldering iron. Don't get a soldering gun. They're way too uh, cumbersome and, and too powerful, actually. You need a soldering iron somewhere in the... 30 to 50 watt range, I guess. Um, you need a drill if you're going to uh, put your pedal in an in enclosure. You, you're going to need it to be able to drill it out. Um, you need a screwdriver to open the uh, box. <laughs> um, other than that, all you really need is like a pair of needle nose pliers and little wire cutters and strippers. So there's not a whole lot to it. But as far as resources go to buy to uh, make your pedals, um, there are a bunch of sites, again. And the ones, the ones that I use the most are Tata Electronics. Um, I probably use Tata for, I don't know, 75 to 80% of everything that I buy in terms of uh, pedal stuff. Uh, components and, and uh, enclosures and that kind of thing, I get most of it there. Uh, another good site is Pedal Parts Plus, and um, Small Bear Electronics is another good one. And I mean, it depends on where you are in the world. There, are, there are um, you know regional electronics suppliers, and eBay is another good place that you can go. But you have to kind of know what you're looking for if you go on eBay. Um, you have to you know know what you're getting and, and be careful of. Uh, false information, that kind of thing on eBay, so. But yeah, um, so like I said, I live in Canada, so places like Pedal Parts Plus and Small Bear are in the United States, so they're fairly close and they're good to deal with, and they have a lot of parts that Tata doesn't have. And the funny thing about Tata is that they're in Thailand, I believe, and uh, shipping and uh, I mean, component cost and shipping is cheaper from Thailand than it is from the United States. And even funnier still, um, stuff arrives faster from Tata than it does from the United States. So anyway, just little things you can take into consideration. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it for the talking, I guess. Um, I've I've gone over pretty much everything I can think of in terms of where you need to go for resources to to build to you know find layouts or printed circuit boards or components or anything like that um, like i said i'll put all the links in the description for you 
you can check them out if you want and you know if anybody has any other suggestions they can put them in the comments that'd be great I'm always looking for you know new places to order from if they're if they're good <laughs> or you know they might be better for somebody in another part of the world so um, that's pretty much it for this video I think the next video um, I'll go over an actual like I'll start building a pedal and the pedal that I've chosen for this video is going to be the Mr. Black Boost Tiger and I chose that because it's just a simple one knob boost it's not the simplest pedal that I could have built but there's all kinds of stuff like um, I, th I know um, I think uh, the channel is DIY Guitar Pedals is a, a gentleman from Australia who builds a lot of um, clones and, and original pedals and designs his own circuit boards and he has his own web store that kind of thing um, he has a video on how to build a seven minute fuzz and that's probably the simplest pedal you can build it's a baz fuss and uh, I've built that was one of the first pedals I built and uh, that'd be great but it's been done and it's been done better than I could have done so I'm choosing the Mr. Black Boost Tiger which I got off of Tagboard Effects once again because that's where I like to go and uh, so yeah we'll get into that next time so um, let me know if you're interested in, in following this through and uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.